I got to ask you this question. I know that you've probably been asked this before, but I read that Kate Hare, the director, gave you the most detailed pitch she's ever done to bring you on. What was that conversation like? What was going through your head? It was very comprehensive. It was a, um, it was, uh, she called me and she really walked me through, you know, the whole series and Mm -hmm. She, um, you know, no one could doubt after that phone call that she really knew this world because um, it was just so thorough and, and, but also very kind of engaging the way she kind of explained my character and the dynamic between Mobius and Loki. And um, it just was something that I thought could be, you know, really fun to play and interesting. Oh, that's good because you you were like a huge fan of Marvel before you hopped on this project, right? Yeah, it was sort of, you know, before beginning, I think one of the most important things was um, Tom Hiddleston uh, kind of taking the time to sort of, we called it the Loki school or the Loki lectures uh, and, you know, spend a few days with me kind of going through stuff. And um, I said that had I had more, um, you know, teachers like that in school, I might've done better because he really was very engaging and very patient. He could see some days I was getting a little tired and like, okay, let's save it till tomorrow. And did you bring a pen to take some notes with? And no. Awesome. And, and yeah. so. He's really committed. When I talked to him about like the timeline and trying to understand things, I was like, did you have a whiteboard? He was like, I had a whiteboard. I had a book. Did he pass along some of those materials to you? Apparently there was like an encyclopedia of stuff just <laughs> follow all the sort of timeline and how, you know, it was like quantum physics. And um, I luckily um, didn't have to read the encyclopedia, but uh, I listened to the podcast. (laughs) That's awesome. Well, I mean, after you, after you did hop on, did you start watching some of the old movies? Like how many of, of the Marvel movies have you watched now? Well, what it was, was the, you know, Tom was showing me clips during these Loki lectures. So like any good class, it wasn't just all listening to a teacher. Sometimes you got to watch a video. <laughs> and, uh, I, fact, uh, I was seeing all the, um, the movies and seeing kind of, uh, you know, some stuff that I really love kind of with Jeff Goldblum and, mm. uh, and seeing kind of his character and Thor and, um, you know, stuff with Matt Damon and, um, and just these little kind of uh, bits. But um, yeah, it was, I think the fact that I didn't know that much about the MCU kind of, in a way might have helped, um, you know, because the TVA, the organization I work for, they're not that sort of impressed with uh all these huge things that have been happening in, you know, with the Tesseract and stuff, they have uh, bigger concerns. Exactly, exactly. Well, and what drew you to your character? Because I mean, like you said, he's not a big fan of everybody and, and things that are going on, especially when it comes to messing up time. I think it was sort of, um, you know, the way Kate kind of explained it, but then also kind of, um, you know, having worked on, you know, kind of buddy comedies before and, you know, being familiar with that kind of dynamic, uh, this isn't a comedy, but certainly some of the scenes where Tom and I are sort of, it's like a chess match. Um, those felt kind of familiar to me. And I felt that we had good ideas to kind of make those scenes, uh, compelling and hopefully, uh, you know, dramatic and sometimes even funny. Yeah. Well, a lot of times funny. I mean, just watching the dialogue between you and Loki, at least in the first episode, like made me laugh. And that's one of the things so many people love about Marvel. It's like it's action, but like the script is really good. Um, Well, is there any chance that we'll see Mobius make a jump into like the next phase of some of the Marvel movies? I think it would be interesting. I mean, that's that's also that I wasn't quite aware of how everything's interwoven in the whole MCU. And so um yeah so characters kind of you know will appear in other places and i guess mobius has been connected with uh in the comics with uh the fantastic four and uh and she hulk so um i wonder if uh if we uh will hear more from mobius m mobius i hope so i hope so i mean you know your stuff you're like an expert those loki lectures really worked out (laughs) gotta say 
we were kind of kidding about like, I mean, can you imagine that that could, if we did that for charity, like auction, like attend the Loki lectures by Professor Tom Hiddleston. <laughs> so, so many people would go, oh my gosh, because this, this universe is so well supported by so many fans. I think people would like, it would be incredible. It would absolutely be incredible. Um, but obviously I know there's a lot that you can't say just out of curiosity, how many pages is the Marvel non-disclosure agreement? Because I feel like you guys, I mean, they really wrap it down. I mean, I, you know, I've worked on a lot of movies and a lot of, um, you know, different projects and I never worked on one with this level of sort of secrecy in where they're, you know, even, you know, my wardrobe or haircut, they try to sort of, you know, keep that, uh, a secret. And, um, I began to sort of appreciate when I just saw how kind of, you know, passionate the fan base is and, you know, they really want to, um, you know, just what you were saying, kind of support these kind of projects and, and Marvel's very determined to, uh, you know, to try to surprise people and to try to save it for uh, when it airs. I agree. Well, and speaking of like, you know, movies that have big fan bases, people have been talking about Wedding Crashers for so long. And I'm so excited that I hear that Wedding Crashers 2 is actually going to happen. Can you give me any info on it? Yeah, David Dopkin, um, the director, has been working on uh, a script with some of the writers. And then uh, Vince and I have been talking. And, um, you know, it was one of those movies that just really seemed to connect with people. And if we can come up with a good idea, then, um, you know, it would be great to try to do another one. Yeah, because it's just so much fun watching you guys' chemistry on screen. You can tell that it's genuine. Like, you guys didn't, they just didn't throw two people together. Like, you guys seem like your actual friends. Yes. Yeah, yeah absolutely. Well, thank you so much, Owen. So, so excited for this as a big Marvel fan as an, and as an Owen Wilson fan. So, congratulations on this. Thank you. Thank you for watching. If you want more extra, hit the subscribe button and the bell so you'll never miss a video.